Hi, this is Nice Matthew, and today I'm going to make these crystal earrings. You could use any type of crystals that you want. I suggest the round. The round actually work a little bit nicer for sliding into place. You could do seed beads as well. You could use any color you like. I've actually mixed gold and silver because I like the look of it. You could just use all one color if you want. They actually look really cute on. If you wanted to make a bigger hoop, you could do that as well. You just have to use a bit more wire. So you will need earring backings. You could probably steal those from another pair of earrings or you can buy them sometimes on, on bead supply stores. The one thing you will want to do is after you've made your earrings, you want to make sure that you make those posts nice and stiff so that they're not going to bend when you're trying to put them in your ear. And you can use wire straightening pliers to make it stiffer or you could work with a half hard wire if you prefer. So let's get started with about four inches of 20 gauge wire. You could probably go up to a 22, maybe even a 24, but I wouldn't go much higher than that because part of this is going to go through your ear and you, and you want a little bit of uh, substance. You could make it bigger or smaller. You just have to adjust the wire length according to how big or small you want to have it. And of course, you'd have to adjust the beads. So the first thing you're going to do is just go right to the center. I've already cut a four inch piece of wire here and I'm just going to bend it right in the center like that. So something like that. And then just take one wire, it doesn't matter which, and just decide how long you want to have your your actual earring part and leave at least probably about half an inch to three quarter of an inch for the ear post. I'm just going to make sure that it's the same as the one I've already made. So it was about a, an inch and a quarter, so I'm just going to go an inch and a quarter again. So at this point, I'm just going to take the wire and then just take it over to the other side and then just wrap it around the base wire. You can always cut the ear post at any point if you want, so you don't have to worry about that if it's a little bit longer than you want it to be. It's really more important that you have the right amount of, of space right here where you're going to put your crystals. So just wrap that around a few times. And if it's more than you want, just trim it back. Make sure there's no wires that are sticking out. I'm just using my crimping pliers. This is great for tightening your wraps, making them nice and round. So, as well as using them for crimps. So now you have something that looks like this. What I want to do now is just kind of Make sure all those coils are nice and close together. And some people uh, mentioned that you can, you should use nylon pliers and so forth when you're working with wire. I don't generally use nylon pliers because I don't find they get a really nice grip. So you just have to be a little more careful. The other option is to wrap your pliers with some masking tape or something or painter's tape and that will help as well. So you're going to just sort of form something. So you have something like this. And it will come together as you start to as you start to add the wire. So now I have about a foot and a half of 28 gauge wire. You could use a bigger wire if you wanted to. The only thing that you want to make sure is that it actually will go through your bead, whatever bead you're working with, it has to go through your bead twice. So you have to make sure that when you're testing your beads, so for instance, I have two ends of this wire and I need to be able to put both of those ends of the wire right through my bead like that and then there's no problem there. That's the way you're going to gauge your wire to make sure it's right. So the first thing you want to do is take the center of your wire, your 28 gauge wire, and just bring it right on the end of your your loop that you're working with. So you have it centered as much as possible. So that's what you would have. And now you're just going to take this wire in the center and just do a couple of wraps around the, the middle. So you're just going to, and this, this might be a little bit tedious, so take your time to do it. So just kind of do one wrap on one side. You just want to have it so that you have equal amounts of wire on each side. So that's why you're going to wrap on one side and then just take the wire and wrap on the other side. So I've got one tight coil already, so now it's just a matter of doing a couple more. That it will 
it will wiggle around on your wire, but don't worry about that. That will stabilize the more you work with it. So now I'm just starting to loop those wires right around. So I've done a couple wraps. What I want to do is just wrap all the top of this earring so that I'm going to start doing my beading, adding beads about here. So I want this wrapped with the wire and then that way the bead will, jet, will easily fit into that space and you won't have a big gap of wire. Do equal wraps on each side. Now you can use more or less wire according to the amount of beads you're going to add, the size of the beads, but for for uh, this project, I found that one and a half feet about thereabouts is, is quite good. So just continue to do that. You can do two wraps on one side and then do two wraps on the other side if it's a little bit easier for you. Rather than always going back and forth. And as you're going, just kind of squeeze your, your coils together so that they're nice and tight. Now if you've already made one earring, you can just go back to the other earring that you've already done. So for instance, I have my earring here. So I would just go back to it and look how many coils I have on this end. So on this one I have 20 coils, so that's what I'm going to put on this one. You can also use your pliers to squeeze your coils together if you prefer. So now that I have the coil done on the top, I'm just going to start to add my beads. So I'm working with a 3 millimeter round crystal. You could use bigger beads instead of doing two across like this. You could just do one bead all the way down and not not change the pattern at all. Or you could use smaller beads like a seed bead or something like that and then use more across and then you would just sort of add as many as you need as you go along. There's a lot of versatility to it. So now I take one of my beads, just the crystal, and then just put it on either wire. It doesn't matter which. And then now that I've got it on the one wire, I'm just going to take that other wire and put it right through that same bead. That's why you have to make sure that they both fit through. Put it right through like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is start to tug it tighter. What you'll notice when you're tugging it tighter, it's going to want to go on one side more than the other, so you'll have more one longer wire. So what you want to do is continue to sort of adjust that that bead so that it's in the center of those two wires. You want equal amounts because you're going to continue wrapping down and then otherwise you're going to have one wire way longer than the other or you'll have an extra bit of wire that won't actually get nice and tight. So you don't want that to happen. So continue to do it. You can use your fingers to guide it down. Bring it down and then what will happen if you continue to center it as you go down it will just nicely snap right into place like that. So that was the first one and that actually went in really nice and smooth. And now you can see the reason why you want to coil it because you don't want to try try and start adding a bead up in the top before you do the coiling because it's going to it won't actually snap into place so nicely. So that's the reason why you do the coiling. So now three wraps in between. Now you can add more wraps. You could do two, you could do three, you could do four. It's really your choice of pattern. I found that three made a nice job. So just three wraps on each side. If you're loop is not big enough, you can just stretch it out a little bit with your fingers so that you can add those two beads. Because now I want to add two instead of one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to pick up two beads instead of one. On either wire, again, it does not make a difference which wire you add them to. Okay, so I have them on there. One wire, and then just take my other wire and slide it right through the opposite way like that and then just start to guide it down take your time here make sure that it's nice and centered
this should snap right into place if you've guided it all the way down. And you can give it a little bit of a tug because it's wire. There's not enough space, you can just, like I said, spread the wires a little bit. Now we're going to go back to the exact same thing. We're going to do the three wraps. Now there is a little bit of work to this, but it's not that it's it's not it's not a difficult job, but it takes some time. So now we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to pick up two more beads. And I'm going to just add my last bead and do exactly the same thing. And that just snaps into place like that. So now just do the three. There's two ways you can finish this earring. One is just to continue and do wraps all the way down. So you could, would continue coiling all the way down here on both sides. The other way I'm going to show you is where you just do the regular three like you've been doing. And then just take these two leftover wires that you have and just sort of straighten them like that and just kind of, and what that's going to do is just going to hide that little, that uh, little space there a little bit and also your wrap. So it almost looks like it's all been wrapped. So you see there's a coil there. So I'm wrapping around so it almost looks like it's all been wrapped, wire wrapped. So just take the leftover wires that you have like that and just, you're not, you're not doing anything very fancy. You're just kind of wrapping it around and then using the rest of the wire if it's too much you can always trim it back and then just make sure you tuck all those those wires in so that they're not going to poke anybody so you would have something that looked like that and if you notice it's a little bit sideways so you can at this point just g very gently you can start to shape it a little bit and all the coils on the side if they're a little separated you, what do you, what do you want to do is you want to just kind of use your fingernails or your pliers whatever you want to use just to get those nice and tight so they just look a little neater. You can do that as you're, as you're wrapping or you can do it just for a final touch. I mean this is where you're just going to start to do your finishing touches to make sure everything looks exactly the way you want it to look. Then you can also decide how long you want to have that that ear post and the other ear post, it's a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim that back so that I have them the exact same size. And you could do this before you bend the earring or afterwards, but you want to finish off that ear post so that it's not sharp. This is a wire rounding tool you can use, and it just there, you, you're going to just use that to round it off or the other option is to use a standard file or a nail file just to go flat and that will make no pokes on the end of your wire so it'll be perfectly 
fine for your ear to wear. Now there's two ways to bend this earring. One is to take a sharpie and then just try and bend it around the sharpie or something round, whatever you want to do. The other is what I like to do, and, it, and, it, and the reason why I like to do it this way is because you have a lot of these crystals and they can be very delicate and I don't really like to rough them up too much. Gently take your fingers and start to form a little bit of a curve like that. So I'm just starting to form a little curve. Now if you don't feel comfortable with that, again, use just use a Sharpie if you prefer. You, in fact, you could use a Sharpie just to start with it, but just don't force it too much. It's something you want to do really, really gentle. So I've already got one here that I've done, so I'm just going to kind of guide it around the same and look at the curves and, and so forth. This has been hand curved like that. All right, so you have it about that, and they look about the same. And what you can do is make sure the ear post is nice and straight, so it's going to go straight into your ear. So that, that would be the two earrings. And then that would be your, your completed earring. So this completes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.